What is the gospel? Well, it's the good news, of course. The good news that even though we are sinners, we're wretched, we're separated from God, that God made a way. See, people don't talk about that often. Many people don't talk about it at any rate, that we are separated from God because of our sin. When John the Baptist, he was the forerunner of Jesus, he, he prepared the way, he preached repent. The scripture tells us all about it. The, animals, the blood of animals was shed for centuries as a covering for sin. When Jesus Christ died on the cross and his blood was an atonement for our sin. So you can't separate that we're sinners, we're lost, we're unjust. Our righteousness, everything we do that we think is good is as filthy rags in the eyes of God. But God, through Jesus Christ, he gives us his righteousness. We're washed, we're sanctified, we're justified through what Jesus Christ did. We're saved because of what Jesus Christ did. That is the good news. But if you forget about the sin, if you don't talk about the sin, if you don't talk about the wretchedness, wretchedness of man, what you get is a lot of modern day churches where people are, where the churches are full of people who are still in their sin. They haven't rejected sin. They haven't repented of sin. They haven't turned away from sin. So it's not a matter of us being perfect, because we're not. But if we don't understand that Jesus died on the cross because of sin, you got to understand that. Now, there, there's a movement going on right now where people who consider themselves homosexual, they're not, they're, not, they're not rejecting being homosexual. They just say, we will not practice homosexuality. There's a big thing going on. But that's not what Scripture says. Scripture says, you know, that such were some of you in Corinthians, but, but you're washed, you're justified, you're sanctified. We don't identify by our sin. We're dead in Christ. We are, we are dead. We're in that coffin, and we don't open that coffin up again. So we don't identify by whatever sin is. So that, that is faulty theology. Reject that. Cry to God to forgive you and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. If you do that, he will save you. That's what the scripture tells us. For he who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But you need to remember, why are you being saved? You're being saved because you're wretched. You're a sinner. So if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. If you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Repent and call out to God and he will save you. And get in the word. Study the word. Study the word.